Breck Baseball had a solid season last spring, going 17-6 and, and winning their conference for the first time in 14 years. The Mustangs look to continue that success into the season. Chez Moots has more. Breck Baseball is out to prove that last year wasn't just a one-time catch. Nate Miller, yeah. Thomas Bellman, yeah. Colin Mitchell, yes, sir. and Max Aronson yeah. are captains. <laughs> and four of the Mustangs' eight starters returning back from last season. We've all been training kind of since winter together. And I think our thing is we're kind of trying to do everything as a team and just like use our experience as a team together. Bellman and Mitchell were all state players from last year. But top to bottom, Breck feels like they have a lineup that can match anyone. I think one through nine, our guys are one of the best in the state, if not the best. We've got a lot of guys who are tough outs, guys who can work the count and put the ball in play. Also guys who can hit for power, extra base hits. With so many bats back, the expectations are set high. We're Iron State. It's been 20 years since we last made it there, and I think these guys are ready for the challenge. That is 100% our goal. Um, I think with all the all of our returning experience, um, I think we have one, one, one. probably the strongest team we've had in 20 years. Breck's confidence was built up from last year, but the Mustangs aren't banking on that guaranteeing success this year. Doesn't matter if we won a couple of games last year, and we ultimately didn't get where we wanted to be, so we're ready to get there. That mindfulness and maturity has Breck hoping to rewrite two decades of history with this group sketching their own path. I think we'll have a special team this year, uh, a lot of special players, and I think we have the capacity to make a lot of special plays. In Golden Valley, Chaz Moats, CCX Sports. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.